to an I-Team exclusive. An investigation is underway after a man was shot while being evicted last Friday. It happened at a home in Blue Springs. Court deputies were evicting a man for not paying his rent. A court spokesperson says the tenant pointed a weapon at deputies who then shot that man. Since Friday, I-Team reporter Kat Reed has been digging into the role of these court deputies who are not law enforcement but are armed. Here's what she learned. Jackson County is unique in the fact that sheriff's deputies don't carry out evictions. Rather, the 16th Judicial Circuit has its own deputies who handle them. And we learned that those court deputies aren't required to go through some training that many would consider crucial. Two of those deputies were at a man's house in Blue Springs on Friday, trying to evict him for non-payment of rent. A court spokesperson says the tenant pulled a weapon, so deputies shot him. I know that evictions are dangerous process. Um, it can be difficult when you're forcing someone out of a residence, so thus they're armed. The court deputies interact with people on what's likely a very difficult day. Family members of the man shot Friday say he was in the midst of a mental health crisis. So the I-team asked the court, are deputies trained in crisis intervention? The answer, no. However, they are trained to disengage whenever possible when faced with potentially violent situations. Do you think that they should receive crisis intervention training? 100%. Ron Clark is a leader with Casey Tenants, a tenants rights organization pushing for safe, affordable housing. Casey Tenants! Earlier this week, the group marched to the courthouse to demand answers from the Civil Process Department about Friday's shooting. We also wanted answers, but our request for an interview with the director was denied. In an email response, so was a request for more details on the de-escalation training court deputies receive. The court spokesperson only said during training they review the use of force policy and work through various scenarios to demonstrate the application. Our policy emphasizes de-escalation. Another question we had, does the department ever enlist social workers or other mental health professionals for evictions? The answer, no. It's a life-changing event for a lot of people and to not have um, any type of resources to have um, more preparation for the officers and serving that is crazy to me. We asked if the Civil Process Division will consider implementing crisis intervention training in light of what happened last Friday. A spokesperson said that they haven't had a chance to review everything fully, but they are constantly evaluating the training that their deputies receive. I'm I-Team reporter Kat Reed, 41 Action News.